Um, oh, it sure is. Look, her sats are 80. Let's turn her up to 100% here, okay? I got it. Okay, I'm going to get ready to bag her. Okay, I'm going to lower her head down so we can take a good look, listen, and feel. Miss Kitty's just lowering you down. I think she looks pretty sleepy, but just to be sure, kind of tell her what we're doing here. Wow. Maybe her RAS is a little bit too low, huh? It might be. It looks more like a RAS of minus four to me, but we can worry about that in a little bit. Wow, I'm feeling some resistance. Let me take a feel. Hey, you know what? The uh, oxygen's not connected here. That might be part of our difficulty. Yeah. This reservoir bag's got to be blown up. Sorry about that. Up to 15 liters a minute. Thanks. Okay, so we're sure she's getting some oxygen. Yep. But you know, a lot of times, and so now we're on 100% from 60, our sats didn't change. Do you know what her ventilator settings were? You know, I think she was on an inspiratory pressure of 18 and a peep of 10 with a respiratory rate of 14. We don't have her on any peep. Let me get the peep valve here and make sure, because I know we de-recruited when we came off the ventilator. All right. While you're doing that, let's take a look and listen while you're bagging. Her tube's taped at 20, which is where it was, so I don't think it's moved. Trachea is midline, equal chest rise, and when I look from the foot, I don't see one side rising more than the other. Just got to take a quick listen here. I don't hear any wheezing, but I also don't hear any breath sounds on this right side. She did have a lot of secretions, I think. She did? Yeah, well, let's go ahead and her. suction out through that endotracheal tube, see if maybe she's got okay. a mucus plug. Can you get the bronch adapter? Yeah, let's get the bronch adapter, and then I'll get the suction on. Okay. for holding it. it makes it easier to get down that line Ooh, a lot of secretions really disgusting let's give her a couple of breaths and let's do it again yeah it's definitely any, hard to come later okay any worse but not any worse but it doesn't seem much better either. okay something there we go that bronch adapter sometimes is tricky to get past. Uh, and she's gross. got just a ton of secretions. I think we're going to need to do a bronch to get that out of there. Hey, oh, hey, Jack, can you come in and give us a help? We need to bronch this lady. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, look at that right middle lobe. It is oh, full of stuff. Gross. It's totally plugged. Yeah, do you think it's better? What do you think? Oh, that's markedly improved. Absolutely. Yeah, that's still not coming up, though. You know what? I think that with that right side being down, I think we should probably try a recruitment maneuver to see if we can blow open those alveoli. Okay. All right, let's put her back on the ventilator. We'll do 30 centimeters of water for 30 seconds. And just watch for hypotension. I'm going to go back to her original ventilator settings. You said it was a respiratory rate of 14 and the inspiratory pressure of 18. And the peep was 10. You want to go up on the peep to 12? I think we should go up to 12 and let's start with 100% and we can titrate down as we're as we're moving forward. Okay. All right, I'm going to get her head of bed back up All and right. then order a chest x-ray. And she doesn't have any chest tubes, so we're not worried about... No chest tubes. Great thought. Often people forget when they don't take the gown all the way down. If they do have chest tubes, you got to make sure they're on suction. Boy, I'm glad I had that acute care apartment course. Me too. Otherwise, I wouldn't even know how to put this stuff together. I know.